All right, good morning from Colville Bay. I almost went to Echo. I was at Echo, and then I decided against it because I have a brand new kayak. It's kind of heavy, and here it is. It's a beast. It is a monstrosity. 360 angler, blue sky, pedal, 12 to 1 ratio, uh, 13 feet four long 48 inches wide look at these those are 20 inch tires on my landing gear uh, like kind of it's it's rigged but it's not rigged quite right it took me all day to rig this thing yesterday i just got a milk crate thrown in the back with a bungee on it just to, for a place to put stuff uh, i've never been i well i've launched here once and i didn't get very far so i don't know how this is going to work out but we're going to put it through the paces. It's supposed to be really, really fast because look how thin the hulls are. They're like maybe 14 inches wide at their widest, and it sits in the water like two inches. 12 to 1 ratio drive. It's supposed to just, it's supposed to be really fast. And they've got all their bugs worked out of this. I made sure of that. So this is kind of a, an olive branch is extended to uh, fix some. Uh, really, really, really fractured feelings over an episode that went down in the spring. And I'm not even going to go into that. But look at that rudder. And the steering's right here. Whoop. This seat spins all the way around. That's why it's 360 angle. Oh, look at that. So, yeah. Uh, Got some jigs, got some deep divers, got good old reliable right there. Like this is right there. Now I gotta get off the ramp and start looking around. And as always, I am permitted to film in the park, so let's go fishing. Alright, we're on the water. Trolling, I got two lines out, because I feel I can do that in this thing. Maintain, maintain it straight. And I've never been over here before. This is that right there. That looks like Boulder City. Am I really that close to Boulder City? No, yeah, it could be. I don't want to blow. It's fine. But uh, steering is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, push it forward to go right, or to go left, pull it back towards you. These two levers, there's one on each side of the seat. Pull it back to go right, push forward to go left. And uh, I mean, it takes a couple minutes to get used to. It's not like the big rig. The big rig was hokey. Uh, each side you had to, if you were pushed your right hand forward, you went right. If you pushed your left hand forward, you went left. Seems like that would be easy enough to figure out, but it's just, that's just a pain. Um, it is really fast. I'm amazed. I mean, you can see how slow I'm pedaling. Because my boot hit the pedals, it's rubbing on the pedals. That is Boulder City. That's the tower right there. I am, uh, what, what am I? East of the tower, I guess it would be. Huh. I never knew that. I never knew it was that close. I guess it is because it's only like 12 miles up the up the road. That means that government washes around this corner right here. Cool. Yeah, it's uh this is more about getting to know the getting to know this thing than anything. That's why I, I kinda came out here and got away from everybody. You know, if I catch a fish bonus, but I mean it's you really truly can get up and walk around on oh the first thing I learned if you got those big tires, those big 20 inch tires. You gotta put the landing gear up like that because I took off and I felt like I was dragging something while well, I was. Both the wheels were in the water. Second thing I learned where the clips are under the seat, the anchor for the steering, you really gotta make sure that those are tight. As I'm coming down the channel, I lost steering, my fault. And make sure that the both clips on the 
little seat post were tight. I got little little wing nuts on them and I I tightened them, but I was hurrying at the launch and I didn't tighten them enough. And they came off. So yeah, I'm just I'm gonna I think I'm gonna turn around and go back in. Because you know, it's a new boat and you know it hasn't really earned my confidence yet. I always do a shakedown, make sure make sure everything's tight. You know, after the first trip out. So it's gonna be a short little journey. But uh didn't uh I picked it up Friday night, got home, spent all day yesterday rigging it, getting it rigged up, and uh got her out here today. I almost went to Willow last night against and I fought that desire to take it to Willow but uh because you know you gotta you gotta do a shakedown you have to take it out kick the tires and light the fires and make sure that everything's good before you put her to the big test so that's why I didn't do that but uh yeah we're gonna I'm gonna reel up and turn around that uh See, that's, the lake is definitely coming up because that rock hazard buoy is almost underwater. It's not coming up fast. Not coming up much, but it is coming up. And at this point, I'll take anything I can get. All right, so I wanted one of these when they came out with them like seven years ago. And I'm kind of glad I didn't get it then because they have made a bunch of improvements on them. Right there, that's the biggest, that's the biggest improvement. 12 to 1 ratio, maintenance free drive, it's a belt, it's like the timing belt in my truck, you know, and it's not spinning nearly as fast, but look at this, okay, I'm standing up, granted there's no boat wakes, but I'm I went through two boat wakes like it was nothing, I mean if I hadn't have seen the wake coming I wouldn't have even known I was in a boat wake, seriously, it, I mean, it's not only got it. I don't think you could tip this thing over. You're definitely going to fall out of it before you tip it over. Um, it's that's, this is crazy, and it's fast. It's really fast. It really is as fast as they said it was. I'm really shocked. Uh, I finally got one. So uh, you know, expect to be seeing a lot more of this thing. This is the seat. Oh look, I want to fish over there. <laughs> I'm a fish over there. I just rotated. That's why it's 360 because the seat spins. You can't go 360 degrees around. You got you can, well, you can go 360, but then you got to rewind and go the other way because of the rudder cable. Is down there somewhere. Over there somewhere. Right there. Right there. That's the rudder cable. Anyways, um, pretty amazed. Uh, I do have some a couple things I got to tighten up. Oh, I'm really glad I didn't just, you know, go to Willow in the middle of the night with it. That would have been a dumb move. Like I said, you always got to do shakedown because you don't know. You just don't know what what the factory's going to miss. Uh, this time it was one of the pedals is a little loose. Uh, so I've got a wrench. I don't have it with me, but I can get back to the dock. And other than that, I mean, it's pretty good. That's the steering is just amazing. When you're fighting a fish, um, just throw the rudder to the opposite side of the fish, and it'll that rudder is so gigantic. Here, I'm gonna stand up and turn around and look at the rudder. There we go, turned around. That's a, that's pretty cool. Dig it a lot. So we're gonna go home. We're gonna put my Black Pack Pro right there. And uh, I'm just gonna use this one, this rod holder right here for the camera, like always. And I'll, I'll run a run that one that's there, right where it is, and just face it forward. But, uh, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna run my Nakwa in, into there, into that hatch, right there. And uh, 
do away with that. I mean, that was a good idea just to get me on the water, but uh, it's way overkill and it's taking up space that, you know. It's preventing me from going 360 right now. Not like I really need to go 360, but it's kind of cool to be able to go 360. So yeah, um, pretty cool, really cool. Dig it a lot, this one's gonna be staying around. I know I say that a lot, but this one is gonna be staying around. There's absolutely nothing I don't like about this one. This one's really cool. I mean, it's not, it's not a, it's really, the, the hull's nice and thick. Um, I do have to put keel guards on the front of it. And I'm going to put my Black Pack Pro in there. I'm going to stop at West Marine and get some bungee to strap it down. But, uh, yeah, on the wheels, those wheels are pretty cool. I mean, they spin going down the road because they got bearings in them. But uh, that's, as this thing weighs uh, probably pretty close to 200 pounds the way it is. 170 um, seat and drive. And it's got a battery, fish finder in it, you know, four poles, a bunch of tackle, you know. So yeah, uh, anybody, any little thing you can do to make it easier. Those wheels with the bearings, it's pretty cool. They're on Amazon for you guys, for you Blue Sky owners out there. Uh, you gotta, you, you should really uh, put a bungee on them when you're going down the road because it's they spun all the way. I can see them spinning in the mirror. <laughs> I can't believe I've, you know, I've never, I've never, I've launched here once and it was so windy that I never made it out past the tires. This is really cool. I'll be coming here a lot more often. Nice new launch. And I know there's fish here. There's a lot of people fish here. There's a fish right there. I might just spin around and go see if he wants to buy it. Listen how quiet this thing is. That's my trolling speed right there. 1.7, 1.8 miles an hour. And listen. Nothing. It's just absolutely astounding to me. This is the quietest drive I've ever heard. And it's, it's new, so it's just gonna get quieter. It's absolutely amazing to me. Here's the first fish out of the 360 angler. Look at this freaking thing. Holy crap, guys. That is a monster freaking bass. And I think I've got both lines. Look at that. Wow. Alrighty, not skunked. Wasn't really even trying. I just saw fish surfacing over here. I thought I'd come over here and see if one would bite. And there he did. So I was untangling my lines and that fish got off, but that was a, that was a nice fish. For you bass guys out there, that's pretty cool. That's, I guess that's why y'all come to Colville. Is that's where they are, apparently. All right, how maneuverable is it, you wanna know? I'm just sitting here spinning donuts. There's the rudder cranked all the way to the one side and there's a boat down. I should probably get out of his way, so I'll crank the other way. Kicks right around. I'd say that's pretty maneuverable for something as huge as this thing is. All right, I'm about to get out of the water. Launch it right up here. And uh, well, uh, I'm gonna do an out, out, out throw from uh, once I get up out of the water. All right, we're heading back out fishing. The mechanic at Colville Bay. Mechanic at Colville Bay produced a Allen wrench that is of that size and uh, tightened it up. Now we're gonna go back out here and try and get some more fish. So I really like this thing so far. I mean that's just something I should have checked. I know better than that. I usually go over every every nut and bolt on them. And uh, I had the thing in my hand yesterday to do that, and I was just 
I was rigging. I was rigging it up and I didn't check it. That's my fault. But, uh, you know, not everybody's got that huge Allen wrench. I don't even know if they send it. This one didn't come with any tools, uh, but they're sending them. This was the display model in uh, Durango, Colorado. And, uh, what is it? Four Corners River Sports, I believe it is. That's where it came from. So, yeah, it wasn't a demo, it was a floor model. So, uh, there was a couple things. I had to find the screw that holds that little thwart bar in right there. That holds the drive in. That wasn't in it. That was no easy task. Quarter 20 Allen screws that are 3 8 inch long are not plentiful in Henderson, Nevada. But I found one. So, and it's working. So, we're going back to fishing right now. Here we go, again. All right, here it is. I'm out of the water, I got her back up on the landing gear. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get up this ramp with this nearly 200 pound monster I got here. I'm just gonna leave this rolling. Keep in mind, I've never done this at this ramp. I've never done, I've, this is the first time I'm throwing this boat out of the water. So. Not bad. That's a pretty good ramp. So yeah, my truck's up there. I gotta go get it. I'll pull down to like right in here somewhere. Over there. And shove it in the back. Go home. That's gonna do it for this one. I got one small mouth. And uh that was pretty much it. It was more about just getting to know this thing. This rudder is absolutely freaking amazing. It's aluminum. What isn't plastic on this? Outside of the pontoons. It's all in. Yeah. Really stable. Shockingly fast. So you guys know the routine. Match that little dude right over there in the kayak. If you like what you saw, give it a share. And I'll see you on the water. Thanks for watching.